Disney Plus Hotstar's latest series, Karma Calling, is the official adaptation of the 2011 American series, Revenge. In its time, Revenge was a fun, juicy, guilty pleasure which I remember devouring during exam season. And dare I say it, this is a really solid show to adapt for Indian audiences. आखिर अपने कर्मा को तो एक दिन गले लगाना ही पड़ता है। It's a show that perfectly lends itself to our melodramatic mainstream sensibility. Set in the soulless, self-serving world of the rich and obnoxious elite, it has everything you could ask for. A fiery revenge saga that's high on emotion and entertainment, bitchiness and backstabbing. It's a ready-to-go winner that was made for us, and to screw up an adaptation would be pretty difficult. But the makers of this show rise up to the task in all the wrong ways and somehow manage to do just that. Adapted and directed by Ruchi Narain, Karma Calling is the latest in a line of pointless, empty Disney Plus Hotstar remakes. Why are all bad Disney Plus Hotstar shows shabby in the same way? The consistency is pretty remarkable. The same stale, lifeless execution, odd dubbing, dead in the water dialogue, the same star plus plus aesthetic, awkward performances, the surprisingly dull narrative that's neither sophisticated or substantial enough to be taken seriously as a streaming series, nor is it pulpy, lovably loud, and unhinged enough to be a memorable Sars Bahu TV show. I get that these shows aren't going for high drama or prestige television. They're merely looking to entertain, and I'm all for it. I'd even say we need more shows like it. But even pulp requires craft. There's a technique to trashy fun, an art to excess. For me, Inside Edge still remains the winner in this category, with its world of campy cartoons and high-voltage theatrics. But Karma Calling is seven episodes of bland, banal bitchiness and sloppy scheming. This flashy, philandering rich people all sleeping around and or trying to screw each other over, or in some cases, even kill each other. I don't forgive so easily. No friends, no enemies. There's double-crossing, hidden agendas, secret identities, toxic power couples, messy love triangles, and even a possessive, psychotic, off-the-rails best friend character. And they still somehow managed to make it all dull. Mysterious newcomer Karma Talwar, played by a woefully miscast Namita Sheth, moves into the neighborhood and thunders into the world of the Alibag elite. Except that Karma is actually Ambika Mehra, who grew up there until her father was falsely framed for a massive scam by his closest friends. He spent a life in prison, they got insanely rich. After over a decade away and four years of apparently meticulous planning, Ambika has returned, except for the new identity, Karma Talwar, to enact her plan of revenge and take down the self-serving ass faces who destroyed her life one at a time. The show follows her bumpy road to revenge whilst attempting to keep her real identity under wraps. Karma's arch nemesis and top of her hit list is 90s Bollywood queen turned Aliba ki Rajmata Indrani Kothari, played by a commanding, formidable Ravina Tandon, who's the best thing about an otherwise pointless series. Part of Karma's plan to get Indrani is to seduce her son Ahan, played by a frequently topless Varun Sood. There's also Indrani's Instagram influencer daughter, played by Devangshi Sen, who says things like, it's not about the Vrat mom, it's about the gram. She's not consequential to the main plot, I just really wanted to say that. Among the many, many issues that ensure that this series is dead on arrival is lead Namrata Sheth in the lead role of Karma Talwar. As we've seen in the original with Emily Thorne's performance, this is a delicious, fascinating role of a woman who's relinquished her humanity for her mission. A charming enigma who's driven cold, calculating and seething with rage. But sincere as she is, you get none of that from a lethargic Namrata who was memorable and promising in Amazon Prime Video's sorely underrated Guilty Minds. But without solid writing to back her, she's left flailing and struggles to do justice to this heightened melodramatic tone. Even her scowls leave you wanting. The essence of revenge was the juicy, high-stakes rivalry between the Karma Talwar and Indrani Kothari characters. But here, the power dynamics between her and Indrani, played by Ravina Tandon, are far from equal. Because Ravina Tandon owns the screen. It's an enjoyably externalized performance because she knows how to do camp and embrace the extra. When Indrani struts into a room, there's no question who has the power and presence. You'd absolutely believe that she's the queen of this place and hers is the ring you need to kiss to survive. If looks could kill, Indrani's body count would be through the roof. Elsewhere, some amidst the wider cast do well to match the heightened pitch and world of the show. A solid god of Sharma is Indrani's husband, Valusha D'Souza as her best friend Dolly, class is Ernest Piyush Khati and Rachit Singh as two good-hearted brothers who risk getting swallowed up by the whims of the heartless elite, to name but a few. Each episode features Karma destroying the life of another person on her list through convoluted plans that rely heavily on coincidences. But these takedowns are basic, uncreative, and uninteresting. 
the insipid dialogue and washed out visuals certainly don't help. This is just not how you gradually unpeel the layers and structure a mystery thriller. If anything, the only real mystery here lies in figuring out what's worse, the writing or execution. In short, anytime anyone on this show isn't getting blackmailed, backstabbed or thrown off a balcony, this series is an absolute slog. You can endure Karma Calling on Disney Plus Hotstar. Hi everyone, it's Suchin here. What did you guys think of Karma Calling? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, you don't have to, it's up to you, but it would be nice to, you know, maybe discuss it because this job gets really lonely sometimes. Okay, we'll see you. I'll see you next time with the next, what, call me.